Hello everyone, this is Oma Shankar. In today's session, we are going to build a basic integration. In order to build an integration, we have to follow five steps. First step is create connection. So basically, connection contains the configuration details to interact with your third-party application. Right? Your third-party application could be web services, Gmail, or Facebook, or any Oracle ERP related applications. Right? So you can create a connection using adapters. Second one is create integration. Here you can write your actual business logic. Right? You can do the validations, you can raise exceptions, you can raise, you can notify the exceptions to the business. Right? So next one is the map, map the data. So mapping is a part of integration. Here we can map the data between your source to target systems. So once you are ready with the integration, we have to activate the integration, right? So post, post activate the integration, you can test the integration with the uh, required payload. And the next step is monitor the integration. Here you can monitor the integration, you can validate how, re, how your integration is performing, right? So before developing this, uh, this, before following these steps, first step, you have to validate the web services. If you are trying to access any web services from the, your integration, you have to validate the web services from SOAP UI and Postman. These, software are the, these softwares are external softwares which you can install your local system, you can test the web services. Once the web services are working as expected, you can make use the services in your integration. Let's see how we can develop a basic integration. In this integration, we are going to calculate addition of two numbers. For that, we are going to use the app-driven orchestration pattern. So in this example, we are using two payloads. One is the request payload. It contains two numbers, P1 and P2. In response payload, you are going to get uh, addition of two numbers. And also, we are showing status as success. So let's see this example. So we are going to create a REST connection where we are going to pass uh, two numbers as a request. As a response, you are going to get total and status. Okay, let's start this integration using OIC. I just connected to the voice application. We are at a home page. Let me cl click on this menu option. Click on integration. So you can see multiple components. So if you want to pre uh, prepare an integration, first step is to create a connection. Click on connection. Now we are going to create a connection here. So if you want to create a connection, click on create. Now we have to select the REST connection. So why we are going to create a REST connection means in our integration, we are going to configure the your request and response payloads. In your request, you have two numbers and the response, you are going to calculate addition of two numbers and also you are going to send the status of this integration, right? You are going to write a logic in the integration, right? So if you want to generate any REST uh, endpoint URL, if you want to configure your request and pay, rest, response payload, you have to use the REST connection. Right for that, I am selected a REST adapter. It is a technology adapter. Okay, select it. So let me give the meaningful name of this connection. So I am going to select demo one REST connection. Here you can see roles. Right, trigger role, invoke role, trigger and invoke. These are three roles are very very important. Let's understand. Basically, we can select the trigger. Whenever we want to send some send some request to the voice application, we can select a trigger. So trigger is basically a source. So in the real time, whenever we receive any request from third party application, if we want to send the request to the voice application, we can use a trigger. So trigger is a, like a, a starting point of integration. Let's come to invoke. So you are invoking a web services within the integration. If you want to send some request from OIC application to target application, we can use the invoke. Okay. So coming to trigger and uh, invoke, basically, if you want to treat your connection as source as well as target in your integration, then select the trigger and invoke. So trigger is a source, invoke is a target. Okay. For now, this example, I'm going to select trigger connection, click on create. Okay, so test and save. Okay, let's back. So demo one rest connection is ready. Now next step is to create the integration. Click on integration, right? Let me create integration. So while creating integration, you have to select the 
one pattern one integration style right in this example we are going to select the abdoin orchestration so i have given complete video of about all these patterns in my next video okay so abdoin orchestration is a multi step invocation flow right uh, with in this integration we can call multiple applications you can write the you can build the complex logic so i am going to select abdoin orchestration where we are going to generate the endpoint url okay select it so you can give the any meaningful name of this integration demo1 demo01 edition demo1 edition edition integration okay okay so you can see the version so the zero one is the major version next one is the minor version third one is the patch version okay i have created separate video about these versions okay let's create this integration now we are at designer window let this let uh, let the window make it as uh, horizontal okay we are going to configure our rest connection right so click on plus symbol you can select for the our connection uh, which we created previously demo so demo one rest connection okay so i'm going to give some meaningful name demo one action we are going to call this endpoint click click, uh, click on next right so uh, what does this operation do you can give some meaningful explanation so second one is the next one is the endpoint url you have to give the some meaningful endpoint endpoint url name okay demo i'm going to give demo one edition okay so here i'm going to select the methods i'm going to select post method right so uh, in the rest we can use multiple methods get method put method post method delete method patch method patch method so i'm going to select the post method so i have to configure both request and response payload right let me select these both payloads okay let's configure these payloads in the next steps click on next here you can select json sample either you can upload the sample json sample otherwise you can enter this sample name okay let me copy the request payload so my request payload contain two numbers okay p1 and p2 click on okay click on next again we are going to configure the response payload click on json click on inline let me paste the response payload so in the response payload you have total and also status of the integration okay click on okay click on next click on done save this integration right so the moment you create a rest connection by default you can see one mapper right this mapper is created to map the source to target columns right so now we are going to use assign activity to perform some calculation so now we are going to write the logic addition of two numbers right any programming language we can declare the variables two variables right we can add those numbers similarly what we can do we can use the assign activity to perform these actions so what i can do click on this action button use the assign activity assign the activity is nothing but we can assign the values we can declare the variables we can assign the values right so let me uh, select this option the moment you click on the action button you can see data call collections general and there is a lot of options which we can discuss in the in my future videos so for now you can select the action uh, option action activity you can drag and drop before the uh, your mapper click on here now we are going to give the name as assign variables okay this assign activity activity name is assign variable let me create a variable click on symbol okay first variable number 1 okay variable number 1 hold the value of your request payload of first number right p number 100 so by default it will declared with the string number right so you have a edit option where we are going to assign this request payload number 1 to this variable right so what i can do click here edit button right so you can assign this value up in the payload 
so it is a string initially the number is declared as a string so we need to convert as a number for that you have a multiple options here right so you can use the number function okay so in the mathematical function you can see the number right here the mathematical function you can see this number otherwise you can select it okay this is the number format right you can just number select the number format you can assign the number one value right if you know the function directly you can write here right so we are assigning the number one value to the first variable okay let me validate and close and also i am taking one more variable where number two right by default it is assigned with the string format right so what i can do select here I know the function name number. Okay, that you can assign the number to value. Okay, validate. So now P one P two numbers holds the values from your payload. Okay, close it. Third one we are going to calculate the total of these two numbers. So what I can do? Where underscore total. Okay. Here, just I'm I'm assigning the blank value. Just give the value in the double quotes. Validate and close. Okay, completed. Validate and close. Okay. So we will take one more assign activity to addition of two numbers to calculate addition of two numbers. Right. Let me click an assign activity. drag and drop here before your mapper right this assign activity for update assign right assign for total assign action assign action total you can give some meaningful name okay create so what we are going to calculate sum of two numbers click on plus select your total variable where and the total our variable so now we are going to add those two numbers right so that those two numbers are already assigned to the variables right click on this value okay so what i can do already you have variables declared or in the in my previous step right variable number 1 and variable 2 so what i can do select this variable number 1 plus select the variable number 2 okay so these variables hold the values of your request payload number 1 and number 2 validate close it okay validate and close so in the first first assign activity we have, we we have assigned the values and we we have declare a some total variables in third third assign action so we we have calculated sum of those two values right now we can do the mapping here right so basically mapper we can use to map the source to target columns click on here here you can see the edit button click on here okay so now we can do the mapping in the left side you have your uh, your request payload right side your response wrapper click on here right so we need to assign the total right so total already there in your total variable so what i can do i am going to map total to total right and also i am going to make the status as success right for that you can click on the status right click create target node and make it success right for this you can open the switch to developer view okay you can edit it i'm going to give success status for this integration okay again click on this right mark okay it's validated okay validate okay 
क्लोज सो वी आर डन विद द इंटीग्रेशन यू कैन सी दिस एरर वी हैव टू क्लियर दिस एरर फॉर एवरी एवरी इंटीग्रेशन बिफोर एक्टिव फॉर एवरी इंटीग्रेशन बिफोर एक्टिवेट द इंटीग्रेशन वी हैव टू एनेबल द ट्रैकिंग फील्ड्स राइट इफ यू यू कैन क्लिक ऑन दिस ट्रैकिंग फील्ड क्लिक ऑन ट्रैकिंग राइट सो बेसिकली वी कैन ट्रैक फील्ड्स एट द रन टाइम ओके सो वी कैन डीबक द मैसेजेस बाई यूजिंग ट्रैकिंग ट्रैकिंग फील्ड्स सो हियर maximum three tracking field we can enable right for now i'm going to select one tracking field p1 number select right side okay save okay save it and close it so demo one integration ready now <coughs> okay this is our integration so in our integration once we are done with the integration we have to activate that integration for that you can see the activate option right here right click on the activate right here you can see enable tracing option enable asset recording basically enable tracing when if you enable this trace it will show the uh, tracing messages at run time basically if you are working in the development uh, projects we can enable it enable it but in production it is not recommended for now i am not enable anything let me activate it okay so integration is active now next step we have to test this integration for that what i can do you can click on this run option test right <clears throat> this is our end point url okay you can go to the body here we have two numbers right number 1 and number 2 right just you can click on the test once you click on the test you can see the the total of these two numbers you got a successful response if you make it is 100 right if you click on the test right you got the total and also status successful right this is the simple integration right uh, which we can understand by doing this okay so in the next sessions we will discuss more about uh, complex integrations please do this uh, exercise once again so that uh, we can uh, we can discuss some more some more integrations in my next sessions thank you everyone